Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This lesson is a percent increase or decrease. Okay, here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our essential question is, uh, how do we use percents to describe a change? So we'll do a percent increase and a percent decrease. Okay, so percents can be used to describe how much an amount changes. So the percent change, you guys, is we find out how much it changed. So there'll be two numbers. So you subtract them, take the bigger one, minus the smaller one always okay and then you divide it by the first number the original number and that's a and then it'll give you a decimal then we move it over two places I'm sorry uh, yeah then we move it over two places to get um, the percent we move two places to the right to change it to a percent so all right so uh, the change may be an increase or decrease so the percent increase describes how much a quantity increases in comparison to the original amount and a percent decreases describes how much a quantity decreases in comparison to the original amount so here we go so amber got a raise and her hourly raise increased from eight dollars there's the first number that's the original number to 950 so what's the percent increase so we got to first find the amount that they changed so the amount that they changed is the bigger number minus the smaller number so 9.5 minus 8 is a dollar fifty okay so um, and then we take uh, this dot the original amount we're gonna do the amount change that's the top number dollar fifty and then you divide it by the original number the first number so eight dollars so we're gonna do a dollar fifty divided by eight dollars so we get point one eight seven five and I'm gonna round that up to about nineteen percent it's actually eighteen point seven five percent but the percent increase uh, for Amber, she got about a 19% uh, raise. That's a hefty raise, you guys. Us teachers are lucky if we get 2% raise, and we often don't get any raises. So anyway, uh, so 19% raise is pretty, pretty big. Anyway, all right, so what does 100% mean? Okay, well, 100% means the amount change is equal to the original amount. Like, say I had $20, and I wanted to... Um, get a hundred percent more than that. Well, a hundred percent of twenty is twenty. So twenty plus twenty would be forty. So it just doubles. So so when you get a hundred percent increase, just double that amount, and that's what's happening right there. Okay. All right. So the price of a pair of shoes increases from fifty-two dollars. There's the original number to sixty-four dollars. What's the percent increase? Okay. So we do find the the change. So we do the bigger number minus the smaller number. So sixty-four minus fifty-two is twelve. And then we take twelve and divide it by the first number, fifty-two. So twelve divided by fifty-two is about point two three zero eight. And there was some change after that. So it does say uh, to the nearest percent. So I'm going to say twenty-three percent increase in price. Okay, so that's how much those went up from. David moved from a house that is 89 miles away uh, from his workplace to a house that is 51 miles away from his workplace. What is the percent decrease in distance from the home? Okay, so we still do the, the amount of change divided by the original number. So the change is the bigger number minus the smaller number. And then the original number is the first number. 89 so we're going to subtract those so 89 minus 51 let's do that so uh, let me see I'll get my calculator here and we'll we'll go 89 minus 51 that's going to get us how much it changed 38 okay so here we go so now we're going to do uh, 38 divided by the original number so I'm gonna, I already got 38 in there I'm going to hit divided by 89 hello Lucy I see you sweetie uh, so when I hit uh, equals, um, uh, that's going to be the percent. Uh, so I get about 42.6% and some change right there. So 0.427 if we rounded it. Okay. So um, how much did it decrease? I'm going to say about 43%. Uh, okay. So he decreased his work by or his distance to about 43% lower. Okay, David is considering moving even closer to his workplace. He says that if he did, the percent decrease would have to be more than 100%. What do you think? You think he's correct? Ah, uh, that'd be no. So the least, oh, that should be a T right there, the least distance, golly, I thought I was good on this one. I'm not. I never am with you guys. Sorry. The least distance David could live from his workplace is zero miles, so you know, right next door, which corresponds to a 100% decrease. A decrease greater than that is just impossible. You can't go, you know, get to a distance that's greater than 100% uh, from your old place because 100% would take you right there. Okay, hope that makes sense. 
All right, the number of students uh, in a chess club decreased from 18 to 12. What percent decrease? And this one says round to the nearest percent. So the change is 18 minus 12, which is 6. And then we do 6 divided by the first number, 18, which is 0.33333. So I'm going to say about 33%, okay? said round to the nearest percent. So it's 33.33333, but it's closer to 33% than it is 34%. Okay, Officer Brimberry, <laughs> I'm sure that's a fictitious name, but Officer Brimberry wrote 16 ticket tickets for traffic violations last week, uh, but only 10 tickets this week. What percent decrease did it go from last week to this week? So the change is 16 minus 10, or 6. Now the original number is 16, so we take that and divide it by 16 and get 0.375. Now this one does not say round to the nearest percent, so I'm just going to move that decimal over two places to the right. So when I do that right there, it's going to be 37.5% decrease, okay? All right, let's see. Whoops, I'm sorry. That was my ring hitting my table right here. Given an original amount as a percent increase or decrease, we can use that percent change to find the, the new amount. So here's an example. The grizzly bear population in Yellowstone National Park in 1970 was about 270 of them. Over the next 35 years, now 1970, 35 years from then is 2005. So over the next 35 years, it increased by 115%. So what's the population in 2005, okay? So what we got to do is find uh, what is 115% of 270, and then we just add that to 270. So find the amount of change. So 115%, if we change that to a decimal, we move the decimal over one, two places to the left, so it becomes 1.15. So 270 times 1.15 is going to be 310.5. Let's just round it to 311. It would probably be okay to be if you rounded it to 310, but okay, so it, uh, it, that's how much it increased, okay? So it increased by 311 grizzly bears. So we're going to take uh, the new amount by taking the old number plus the increase, and we get about 581. So the population in 2005 was about 581 grizzly bears. Okay, all right, what else? Okay, why uh, will the percent of change always be represented by a positive number? Well, that's because we always take the, the bigger number minus the smaller number, and that's always going to be a positive number right there. Okay, and then uh, and then if it says increase, percent increase, we add. If it says percent decrease, we take that number and subtract, okay? So anyways, bigger number minus smaller number, and then divide that by the original, and then... Um, uh, that'll give us the idea what to add or subtract, okay? Or that'll give us the in increase or decrease. We'll have an example here. So if the amount uh, of $110 uh, $100 in a savings account increased by 10%, then the next year it increased by 10%. Again, is that the same as increasing it by 20%? Well, it's real tricky on that. No, it's not, you guys. An increase of 10%, uh, okay, if I took 10% of 100, 10% of 100 is 10. So if I add 10 to $100, that's going to give us a balance of 110. And then when I take 10% of that, that's going to give us 11. So if I add 11 to 110, then we get 121, okay? So uh, that's a 21% increase right there. An increase of 20%, that should say percent right there, an increase of 20%. Uh, oops, let me, sorry. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, would give a balance of uh, 120. Golly, what's the matter with me? So 20% of 100 is 20. So if we increased it by 20%, it would take us to 120. But when we increase it by 10%, then 10% again, it actually is a better better rate because it gives us up to $121, okay? All right, so a TV has an original price of $499. Find the new price after the given percent change. So I'm going to do these together, you guys. So this one's going to be a 10% increase and a 30% decrease. So let's find out how much this one increases and how much this one decreases by multiplying 0.10 times this number and 0.30 times that number, okay? And that'll tell us uh, how much money it increased and decreased, okay? So on the increase, it increased by 49.90. On the decrease, it decreased by 149.70. So here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add the increase. I'm going to add this amount to 499. And this is a decrease, so I'm going to subtract this amount from 499. That's what this next step says right there. 
Okay, and that gives us those two prices right there. Those are our new prices. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And, and take care. That's a good little way to see what uh, 90, 60, 45, and 30 degrees is. And zero. Take care.